Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Um, we are out in the garden. We just got the garden all planted. Um, we think we are clear from our fall frost. So I just want to take you along and show you what all we've got planted in the garden. Because we live on a limestone foundation, um, our ground, we are not able to plant directly into the ground. We tried our first year on our property. That didn't work out. Um, the last couple of years, we've had some raised wood boxes. This year, we had to take out um, about six of them that fell apart. Um, you've probably seen that in another video of us cleaning up the garden and getting it all prepped. And now we've got our garden planted. Um, and because we have to keep the deer out, of course, we have to have it everything secure. So this one is our tomato and potato garden. And it's in a chain link fence six by bed. six. So we have them our tomatoes all in these five gallon buckets. And we did one tomato plant per bucket. We um, started our tomatoes a few months ago. Some of them sprouted, some of them did not, but we, um, we actually planted about four times the amount that we anticipated planting for th for those that did not come up. So we've got a big range variety of tomatoes. Here we've got a small fruity tomato, a sun gold. Those will grow. They're they're like a red orange color. As you can tell on the tag back there, we um we like a variety, a variety of colors, sizes. So that, and we've got a Cherokee purple. That one will be a purple tomato. We've got a San Marzano. It's kind of like a Roma tomato and it's red. Here we had a, a sun sugar, which we've never even planted before, or ever even heard of. And it's like an orange yellow color. Um, we've got a couple of different brands, a red dirt brand, and we've got some burpees. Um, this is called a supersonic tomato, and it's really big. We've got a black cherry, which is a um, deep red. We've got a bush early girl tomato. Super soup tomato which is a deep red also mortgage lifter it's a red tomato super sweet 100 let's see what we have here it's called a bradley tomato never heard of that one before either here we have a snow white it is like a white, yellowish green color. It looks, it's doing pretty good too. Here we have a Jet Star tomato. Here is a Chef's Choice yellow tomato. And what we do with our tomatoes is we make salsa and we make spaghetti sauce. Last year I did can Rotel tomatoes for like soups and stews, cheese dip, um, and it turned out really good. We still had a lot of um, a lot of spaghetti sauce left over, so we went a different route last year. But this year we're going to be making spaghetti sauce and salsa. Um, here in the middle we've got potatoes. We started those real early from just some stark potatoes that had eyes growing on them. And here in Northwest Arkansas, um, we get hornworms. They, um, 
we call them tomato worms because they will demolish a tomato plant, all of them, overnight. They just latch on to the little, little limbs, branches, and they will just eat all the leaves off. You'll come out and all you'll have is little sticks sticking everywhere. So we were told basil is supposed to be good for that. And I have went along and sprinkled some basil seeds in each of the buckets. And then we've got the basil plant out here in the front. Hopefully to the smell is something that they don't like. So they um, will steer clear from those. Out here in the old wheelbarrow, I've got onions and garlic. So looking forward to harvesting those. We'll be harvesting those. Um, we'll keep harvesting those and they'll they'll just come back every year. But got those. Then we're gonna head over to the other garden. Over in our other garden, this is our original garden. Um, each year, it seems that we expanded a little bit more. Uh, two years ago, this garden was half the size. Last year, we expanded it to double the size. And then this year, we added the chain link area over there for the tomatoes because the garden will just start going and everything will just be so plush and it'll look like a jungle. But I love cabbage. My husband loves cabbage. So we decided this year we were going to plant cabbage. We've never planted it before. We're hoping to get a good harvest from it. So I've got eight cabbage plants. And they are all the same. They're just a, um, by Bonnie, a Bonnie plant, um, Bonnie seeds, um, we didn't go with the other brand this year. Um, our plan is to see how the garden grows with the different seeds and the different plants and decide which, like on the tomatoes, decide which tomatoes we like best. And we're gonna keep a log of it this year. So we know what we want to grow the most of next year. But that's our eight buckets of cabbage. So hopefully we'll get eight cabbage heads out of it. Then we're going to move over here. We've kind of got our um, bell peppers and banana peppers spaced out into the three, um, these raised wood beds or what we, uh, we had nine of them, six of them fell, fell apart. We ended up, was able to salvage, at least for this year, three of them. So we've got all of our bell peppers and our banana peppers in these boxes. So here on this end, these three are banana peppers. Those um, are a bell pepper. Uh, looks like a green bell pepper on those three. We've got some other mixed colors bell peppers over here. We've got a red beauty. We've got a better bell. We've got three better bells in our garden. This one is a baby bell. So they'll be little like snacking bell peppers and they'll be a mix of colors. We've got a Carmen sweet bell pepper that will grow it's supposed to grow red and it's supposed to be a like a long bell pepper which we've never grown those that one's called a yolo wonder um bell pepper over on this side we have more bell pepper we have six kinds of bell pepper over on this side we've got an early sensation in the back We've got a sweet YOLO Wonder. We've got, we've actually got two of the YOLO Wonders. This one's red. That early sensation is a pretty bright yellow orange color. Got a California Wonder. It's green. We've got a Pimento, 
we've never grown that one before. A colossal, we've never grown before. And a better bell, we have, um, we probably have about three or four better bells. Um, a couple of different brands, actually. So, we'll see how that works out and which one does best. Um, so, all together, we have 18, well, 16 bell peppers and three banana peppers. And we've got more in the greenhouse that are starting to sprout. Um, the past two years, we have planted nine buckets of okra and had three to five stalks growing in each bucket. And we just, we've still got a big supply of okra. We don't use it a lot. Um, but so this year we cut it down to two buckets. I planted each bucket should grow about three stalks. And that is these two buckets It's the okra moving on around. We've got right now we have three jalapenos growing. We have two more varieties of jalapenos that, um, we're trying to figure out where we want to plant them. I think we're going to double them up in uh, two of these pots. Um, so I'll probably be doing that in a few minutes. But right here we have a jalapeno, hot pepper. Um, it's just a jalapeno brand. Um, hopefully it'll be like a mammoth. We like the mammoth because we like to make a lot of uh, bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. This one's called Tricked You. So, never grown that one before. Never heard of it. So, we thought we'd try it. We'll see. I don't know what the Tricked You part of it is, but it sounds interesting. Tam Mild Jalapeno. We've never grown that one. This is the first for that. Normally, we grow the mammoths, but they don't grow big like they're supposed to. Moving on around... We coming into our hot peppers. We've got a cayenne. This is a red pepper. It grows really skinny, like not even as big around as your pinky finger. Um, and those are really hot. Um, and those will go in salsa. Again, we've got a serrano that'll go in um, salsa. We've got a couple of ghost pepper. My husband really likes the ghost pepper. We actually have three ghost pepper plants. Um, we could not find the orange ones, so we've got red there. Here we've got a habanero. It's an orange. So an orange habanero. And then over here in the center is our ghost pepper. This here is a mint. And we have mint growing in the garden because we have squash bugs that are like stink bugs that will just eat up our squash. They have eaten up our squash um, last year and I believe the year before that. We don't really even get any squash because by the time they get almost the size to pick, the, the bugs have just eaten it up. So did some research found out that mint helps with that. So over here, we've got zucchini squash. One is a green zucchini and one is a yellow zucchini. And we've actually got some mint seeds growing that's gonna grow in this pot, hopefully. That way the mint is right there with the squash. And hopefully we won't have any squash bugs this year. Here in the center, we've got some onions. I may be moving these onions um, over, some more onions, over to the wheelbarrow over there that I have onions in so I can utilize these two pots for some other things that I have. I've got some kohlrabi starts in the greenhouse. I've never grown kohlrabi. I'm looking forward to harvesting that. So hopefully 
um, they'll get big enough and I can move those out here. I may move those into the these onion buckets after I move the onions out. Over here, we've got a yellow crookneck squash. And again, I've got some mint seeds growing in that. So hopefully that will steer away those squash bugs. We're in the greenhouse now. Um, it's where we started all of our plants here a couple months ago. Um, in the back, uh, we've got some bell pepper. It wasn't a big variety of bell pepper. Um, there were some reds, some orange, and green. Um, those tags don't indicate exactly what they are, the colors and stuff. But as you can see, we only have a little bit of sprouting going on on those. Um, so not sure if they'll come up or not. I'd actually started some celery because I would really like to put some celery in some chili and soups and stuff that um, we plan to can this year, but don't know if I'm going to get that. This too was a celery. It's not getting very big. Here in the front, I've got a couple kohlrabis. I've never grown kohlrabis before, but I thought we'll try it this year. Um, those are coming up. They're, they're getting on up there. So I've got to find a place in the garden for those because I do want to, to grow those. And I'm not sure how well they'll grow just here in the greenhouse. This here is a, um, a variety pack. It was 10 different kinds of tomatoes. I bought these seeds on Amazon and it was a 10 pack of all different kinds. And I did 10 starters just to see what we would get and um, see how, I, how they do. Uh, some of them are doing really good. I may keep these in the greenhouse for a while. Um, and we'll see how they do in the greenhouse. Um, occasionally we go out of town for a few days up to Oklahoma fishing. Um, where our other property is that we have our camper there and we we go there and fish a lot so the watering these are need these are wanting water every day everything's drying out the greenhouse will get um, up 105 degrees yesterday to it rained last night and it's raining to off and on today so it's a little bit cooler in here, so they won't dry out as fast, but uh, we'll, we'll just kind of play it by ear. I may keep them growing here in the greenhouse. I may have to put them out in the garden for the sunlight, but those are 10 tomato plants. Um, that wraps up our garden tour. Um, I will do another garden tour as things progress and grow. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do that so you don't miss any of our videos. We do a rod a range of videos on our homestead. We There is another video that um, will be linked in, in this description for that when we cleaned up the garden. Um, as you can see where we started and where we're at right now. And then I'll do another video, you know, probably in about a month at the growth of our um, garden. But, um, yeah, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. We post videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, and give us a thumbs up after you watch our video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and we appreciate you.